Hey everyone, uh, now that we've taken a look at the location card, let's take a look at the next part that we have to understand when it comes to warehouse management, and that is bin contents. Basically, uh, you have a location, uh, and then location has bins, you know, many bins, and you can have zones in between and stuff like that, but we're mostly concerned with the location and the bins. So when you actually receive an item, uh, and it goes into the location or into where uh, into inventory it creates a bin content now, Bin content is like an aggregation. Um, it's a record that uh, Has the location it has the bin obviously then it has the item and unit of measure and possibly more things like lot. Uh, actually, the lot level is not in the standard bin contents, but we have something that does that. So all the combinations of a location, bin, item, and unit of measure um, are displayed as one record. So when you receive, let's say, um, an item that is in pounds, and the same item that's in inches, you would have two records here, even though it's the same location, same bin, same item, Two, two records because they're two different units of measures. And then of course, and finally, you have quantity. So it's very important to understand the bin contents uh, because that plays a pivotal role in the whole warehouse. So let's go ahead and explore that a little bit and how to look up stuff in the system. Alrighty, um, let's check out bin contents. So I'm logged in here and I'll just go search up here and look for bin contents. So if I go into bin contents, it'll, it's going to show me all of the bins that I have in the system that have contents. So it's a little misleading, but um, uh, locations will have bins, but it will not show up here unless there is a bin content created. And a bin content means that just something has been in the bin at some point. Now, I have a lot of zeros here. That means that there is nothing in that bin right now. But at some point, there was something, and therefore, uh, we have entries behind it, basically. So what am I looking at here? I have the bin in the first column. So here are all the bins that I have. The second is the item. So you can see it's duplicated for the item, because I have two items in this bin, or had at some point. Um, and then we have a unit of measure. I could have a different unit of measure for the same item for the same bin. So that could be another record in here. And then uh, I'm not going to get into the details of all the other columns, but here we have the quantity finally. So let's take a look at um, this particular item, um, the par baked pizza crust. Or actually, let me, I'll pick, yeah, let's see this one here pizza dough. So we got pizza in this system. This is the New York warehouse. Um, we make pizza <laughs> in the demo system, the Gotham system. So we have pizza dough in here. It's in production out, which means we actually created it. And I got this quantity here. So what I want to do is just take a look at it in my scanning app. So warehouse obviously is most effective if you have a scanning app connected to it. Obviously inside uh, the warehouse, you're not going to be looking at uh, you know, the, the ERP itself. So I'm going to go into search here and look for the pizza dough. So here it is. And it's looking up into um, the bin contents per se. And you can see here that in production out, same as I have here, I have this particular lot number. I got 20 pounds. And if I look more, I can just take this away here. I have a bunch of different uh, lots inside uh, this particular bin. So, and if I go into here, into quantity, I can see also the details, similar details as I'm looking at here. So the bin content screen is actually pretty important. Uh, it shows you a lot of stuff. It is also breaking it up by all of the elements uh, that could be inside a bin, which means, um, you know, the particular bin could have more than one item. Each item could have more than one unit of measure. Uh, and obviously you can get even further down into the particular lot numbers, which we do uh, in food.